Good morning and sliding in the afternoon. Nana here, also known as Judy Allen from San Antonio, Texas. So I'm grateful that we have all the technology fixed right for the moment anyway. So if you've been here since Sunday, camera froze. Wednesday, I was on Adventurous Stampin' and when the screens was black and I had to use another computer. So we found out. So one thing to note, and this all came from a science project when my daughter was in high school, is just what seems obvious may not be the issue. So what happened is, is the the cords. We thought the, the cords was bad, and my daughter thought she was going to replace a cord, but it really wasn't because we found out on Wednesday the camera worked just fine when I hooked it up differently. So what actually happened, it wasn't even the cord. It was actually the plug-in in the computer that is not working, right? Your USB port, so a USB port is not working. So we have a extra one, she said, so she put me up, plugged me into that extra USB port. So there you go. Just to give you something besides stamping that you can learn and take note of, it's not always the obvious thing that's not working, right? You might have to dig a little bit deeper because that's what we had to do with flashlights. We were testing batteries for a science project. And come to find out, it wasn't the batteries that didn't last. It was the light bulbs and the flashlight that didn't last. So there you go. It's always interesting to learn something new every day because we can learn something new every day. All right. So today we're going to see about stamping on fabric. So the stockings in this month's kit are fabric, right? They're like muslin. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on it. All right. And we're going to show you how to do that. And we're also going to arch a stamp to give a different look and we'll show you how to do that too because the stamps will spring back into place all right so you don't even have to worry about that so let's go down the hands and let's do this and i'll show you what we accomplished on sunday before the camera froze up so we actually made these four stockings and basically you're not making the stockings right the stockings already made we're just folding over the top part and we added tags and we had this nice little safety pin looking right here to clip them on and these are really good i tell you right now we, there's a little girl that just got out of the hospital and her friend asked us if we wouldn't mind sending her a card just to cheer her up because she's sort of down in the dumps she's eight years old and you know with surgery and everything else her life is just a little different right now so we're going to sit up here and make a stocking for her as well as we're making a couple of cards for her to cheer her up and we got a couple of the goodies we're going to send along to cheer her up so we don't know the little girl, but it's okay. It's all about making a difference in someone else's life, right? So this here is, this is what the kid's doing. And our alternative day is we're going to take one of these and we're going to stamp on it. So give us choices of colors here that they stampin' up suggest a paper pumpkin, right? That you can go with the kit. So I'm actually went ahead and pulled poppy parade which came in the kit and i pulled shaded spruce because i wanted some green in here all right now i'm going to use my regular stamps because i usually give away we do door prizes every month we give away stamp sets uh we give away kits really and stamp sets but i usually take my extra stamps and uh, inks and i give those away as door prizes so let's go ahead and get this out i'm going to start with this one first and this one, and I did, I put several stamps in one block. It just makes life easier for me. But you can do it too. All right. So you can do this with any of the rubber, with these type of clean stamps like this here. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to arch it. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to do a little arch over here and a little arch over here. And I'm going to accomplish that by just taking this rubber stamp. And we're just going to stretch it. Okay. And we're going to test it to see if it's going to meet what I want it to do. If not, we'll stretch it some more, okay? So you see, it didn't look like it got it very straight. Or I shouldn't say straight. For a curve, something It's really straight. All right, so see how I've done that? Now let's see how it's going to look. I wanted to do it this way here. I'm trying to think how to go. So I want to do it this way here, on the corner here. And I want to do it the same way here, right? So if it pops off, see it's already just popped off a little. That's okay. I was trying to think if I had any extra. So if you sit there and have that, it's not sticking too well. It could be my block's dirty. So what you can do is, and I was looking to see if I had an alcohol wipe because I used them to get all the sticky stuff off my glass mat here, is just take it and clean it. All right, so if I can't get this to cooperate, I got another stamp, right? 
because we always get, I always get at least two kits a month. And then when the refills, right, then I can get refills if I want to, too. So if you are if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscribers, you can get the refill kits, right? And they're a little bit, they're cheaper, right? Because you, the fact is you don't get the stamp set and you don't get the ink spot with it. I'm just start getting this the way I want it. All right, because I'll have to stamp it more than once, right? It doesn't matter. I can go all the way down the toe here, and I have to go that small, which we could go that small. But you can see what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm just trying to get it arched the way I want to get it arched. Okay, and see how I can do that right there. I can do it on the toe, and let's see if I can do that on the heel. I can. I might have to do a little bit of stamp again with that, but on the toe, I can definitely get it right here straight across, all right? So you can pick whichever color you want, because all I'm going to do is alternate between red and green, red and green. All right, and if you want to do more colors, you can. I just picked two colors, one that was actually in the kit itself, and then I just sat there and picked. That's it, right? The one that was in the kit, I still I want it to arch a little bit more. Let me get this out of the way so you can see, right? Because sometimes you do have to work with it, right? And I'm going to try this one more time. And if I don't get the, um, let me just try it on this arch here. So if I don't get it this time, then I'm just going to grab my new unused stamp. And we'll use it. I mean, I don't mind, but I got it wanted to curve, right? So it's got to curve some. It's just not curving the way I want it to curve at the moment. That's okay. So I don't know about you, but I am working on Christmas cards. We are having holiday bingo next week. Cause so, so if you are a subscriber of mine, it doesn't matter if it's paper pumpkin, if you did a kit, if you did, let me get the other stamp. If you did a retreat, if you did, some people uh, sit there and do my paper shares, ribbon shares, you do any of those kind of things, right? Because that makes you a customer because you're doing something with me. So if you did any of that, then you are welcome to sign up for this free event. I only do it once a year, right? This holiday season is always the greatest time to do it. And I sit there, and we, we have a night of bingo. It doesn't last all night, okay? So I don't want you to think that. But we do do bingo, and we give away door prizes as well as... So what's different than regular bingo is we usually have one winner per game, and they usually get stamping up items for free. Or I shouldn't say, they get that dollar value to order what they want to. So what's different with the holiday bingo is, is I've got it set up so that more than one person will win per bingo game. And we have items, right? We have stamping up items that I put out there that you get to choose from. All right, let's get this going. You get to choose from. And we're just going to stamp. Now, it looks like it's not going to be quite as archy as I wanted it, but it'll be okay. And then we keep on, you know, we give away several each time. And I'm not going to worry about that. I accidentally got red on that. I didn't want to, but it's okay. I'm going to cover it up anyway, All right? So we're not going to sweat the small stuff. It might be that I'll end up moving this out of the way, though, so I don't do that again. But so anyway. All right, and we're just going to do this right over here as well. So you can see it's stamped. So it's, we were asked on Sunday, you know, will it stamp on the fabric? So you can see that it will. Now, if you wash, if you wanted to wash it, would it wash down? I honestly do not know. Especially when I think of when I clean off my stamp and everything, I'll get the red off. My ink, see here, because these are, see how these are red here? Stained. So it's just some colors do that they stain the stamp and it's just the red seem to do that um navy navy does this look it's got a, you look at the stamp looks like a red undertone or something i'm gonna go ahead and take this one off because this is the newer one set it aside and i'm just gonna go ahead and use the other one for what i do and we'll just make that into something so no no sweat sweat the small stuff this is really small stuff right it really, really is. Okay, so I'm going to lift this a little bit right here. So what I wanted to do up here, I'm going to set this up. Well, it knocked them all over. 
So I've set this aside because I want these to go by the pen. He's got these cute little bows on here. I'm just going to come across with this. So when you do your stockings, you can do them any way you want to do it, right? You know it's going to fold down if you just want to double check. So that's about the ballpark I want to do it. So right about there. And I'm going to start this off with red and then we're going to rotate with green. So yes, I can do it all one color because I'm, I'm building, right? I'm building a pattern. So I'm going to be doing. And I already know we're going to give it to this little girl. So actually Zoe will be here tonight. So I plan on us. Okay, now see I didn't get that enough. So you want to make sure you get enough. And I'm going to stamp right over it because I can. Anyway, so we're going to put some package, a care package more or less for this little girl. We've never met her, but a friend of ours knows her mother. And she at, let, let us alerted us to this little girl. So we are going to sit there and do something for the little girl. Alright, so just make sure you ink it up well. Right? So see, that's just a little bit lighter than the other one. And it's just absorbing. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead. Because keep in mind, this is fabric, right? So fabric does absorb. But it's alright, because this is how it's going to look right here when we get through. Now, right, you could add ribbon if you wanted to. You could add bling if you wanted to. Now, if I did any of those, I would most probably use fabric glue to get it to stay. Right? So many times if we're crafters, we have more than just one craft we do. All right, let me clean this off and let's do the next one. So just keep that in mind. Right? All right. So now we're just going to take and we're going to take our green. And let's see here. Let's go. So this came with different things. This came with little squirrelies, swirl type stuff. It also came with these little stars. So I'm going to start with a swirly one. And we're just going to do it right down there. And I'm going to do two rows, right? I'm going to try to keep it straight. And I'm going to come down to the other end and we're going to do something green down there. Okay, now see I've got some extra here. It came off. So you're going to have to make sure of this, right? Because you're going to have to press down into the fabric. Let me get this off. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to pass, um, press down in the fabric. So if you accidentally get some ink elsewhere, you need to clean it off. Yeah, I didn't get it. Switch it. Yeah, I'm just thinking as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm doing a workshop tonight. Someone's hosting. And I'm doing a workshop from them and their friends. So I'm thinking, all right, let's get ink all over our fingers just so we can do that. All right, so, right? Oh, really do need to do this out. I just did that to show you. Okay, really need it flat, right? So that's what I was just looking at. I need it flat. So I'm just going to make sure I go edge to edge, right? There you go. So this is shaded spruce. And actually, it's easier if I just get it on the edge, then I didn't actually get in the other. Now, what I will do is I'll use this piece of white paper right here because it's going to go beyond what we have right here, right? And I'm not really too worried about it going on to the green there, okay? All right, so we got stage one. Let's down it. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more layer because I can, right? I was debating if I want to do it like this or if I want to do it like this. I think I'm going to do it like this because I can. Right? So a lot of things we do is because we can, right? I'm not getting a grade. I mean, if you want to grade me, you can. I'm not going to care. And because I've, I've already been through school, right? And I already got graded from art stuff. And I don't have to worry about getting graded anymore, right? I can do whatever I want to do. All right. So we did that right there. Now we're going to clean this off. And I'm going to change stamps. I shouldn't say it's just rotating over because I already got them up here. Oh, wrong way. I've already got them rotated over. Yes, these are, let me think right now. I'm going to say it's squeegee, but it's not squeegee. But anyway, this is something that you just keep it wet and you can clean your stamps. They will come to me later. I was up late prepping packages for the bingo and getting them out in the mail today. 
So I am a little, little off. Not much, but just a little. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to stamp across. You can get as close as you want, right? It doesn't matter to the end piece there. But just take your time, okay? Because we'll do this just twice. I'm just going to finish off the one little part here, right? Okay, and then we're going to do it one more time. And then we can sit there and stamp the other. So the main thing is just have fun with it, right? Because like uh, right now, like it's said before, as many a times when we create, for my, for me particularly, I have somebody in mind where I can give it to, right? So I already know we're going to make give it to this little girl. So I want to make it as fun as I can, right? I don't know what it's like to be a little girl to sit there and have to sit there and get out of the hospital and knowing the holidays around the corner and not going to school and maybe missing some school parties. I don't know. Oops, almost did green. I need to do red. Okay. So, we're just going to send her some cheer, right? So, matter if you know the person or not, you still send cheer. Costs nothing to send cheer except time, right? So, that's what we're going to do. So, there we go. Filled with joy. And I'm just going to put some little stars around it that comes in the kit. And I want to be sure to get some star flakes. Um, I was trying to think of, oh, this person lives, I know they're at, they're in this, they're in very warm weather. I was trying to think at first where they're, they're at, what kind of weather they're having. They're having very warm weather. All right, so I'm going to stamp that there. And then I'm going to come over to this other side. And I'm going to have to stamp off. See, I usually do not have two stamp sets open at the same time because you saw I went to go to stamp that in the green and I assure you I've done that before. That's exactly why I usually don't have two out here at the same time. But it's okay. We will survive. All right, so now I'm going to sit up there and we're going to put some little something across here as well too. Let's go and go swap to green. Let's see, I have snowflakes I could do, but I don't want to do that. You'll see we're going to put red down here. I want to do something red down here. Let's do this one. Since we already have it out and handy, I'm just going to come across the top here. Actually, this is pretty fun. Oops, I just dipped my hand in red ink or something. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be colorful. So I'm just putting the pressure more on the inside stamp right there, okay? I mean, I did get some on the edge, but I'm not worried about it, okay? So, yes. I'm making this for a little girl. She actually, I know she's eight years old, so that much I do know. Hey, looky there. Okay, so you see I'm doing the stamping, right? Yep. So we're just going to alternate. We're just alternating between green and red. So I'm fixing to do green here. And these little stars. Oh, I did the little stars already. Let me do something else. I could do the stars again, but let's just go ahead and do the straight line. I just want to sort of rotate it, right? Do a straight line. Right, so this is going to be done in green, all right? So what we did a while ago. Uh, let me just swap these two around. All right. As you can see, I've got ink on my fingers. That's okay. I'm busy crafting was. <laughs> uh, right? If you wait long enough, right? You'll see it. You will see it. Oh my word. I just want to make sure. I think the key to it is, is just make sure you get enough ink on there. So if you need to stamp it more than three times, just make sure it looks like it's inked good. That's what all I would say. All right. So yeah. What are friends for, right? Okay, so I'm just going to do one more row. Let me put some snowflakes in here. Look, I know, Burtner, you might be getting snow. We're not getting snow. I don't anticipate us getting snow. But, you know, hey. <laughs> oh, my word. All right, let's do, do a snowflake here. Let's do some snowflakes. And then we'll have to finish it. In fact, uh, I was just trying to think how we want to finish this off right here. Because you sort of almost want almost like an angle, right? 
We'll get some star flakes. Let's star flakes. We'll get some snowflakes in here. And yes, I'm gonna do them in red. So let me do uh let me do some snow right here. Cause I wanna sort of we sort of wanna just get this finished off, right? So I've got it red. We're gonna go green right here. And I'm just gonna have it go across. Okay, so I'm going to come up here, and I'm looking, right, and I'm just going to go right here. We're going to put, oh, in fact, I'm just going to center this, because that'll be a nice, like, little center with a little underline, looks like, right? There we go. Love and joy. All right, now we're just going to add some stars. Uh, not stars, snowflakes. It could be stars, though, right? Oh, really? That's good. It's just a light coating, right? We have zero, but I tell you what, our weather is cool today, so it's nice. I get to wear a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt, because i got plenty of them, with a hoodie. All right, so there we go. Now, this would be really cute, right? Just sit there and put some little bling right here in the center and glue it. You're going to have to use fabric glue, all right? Fabric glue. You're going to glue anything, put anything on here that you want to stay, besides the just inked. So let me fold this over so you can see how this looks. Once we fold it over. See how that just turned out? I would tell you could put Wink Costello, but I just don't know that that would really, really show. But what you could do is put some glue, right? Use some fabric glue and sprinkle. You can sprinkle glitter on top of that. So there we go. We just got a nice, simple, decorated stocking. And like I said, we could go and add some bling. We got some very cute bling. In fact, I just had some handy as I was Cleaning up. Let's see if I can show it. Oh, yeah, this one's real pretty. So I think this, something like this would look really nice. So I can adhere it right now. But you're going to have to come back. In fact, one of them just came off. You're going to have to come back and glue it down. But looky there. See how that, that let me just wait and give you a close-up view. Just even how adding just a little bling can just give it a little something extra too. Like I said, you're going to have to use fabric glue, which this Nana has fabric glue. You may not can see it, but see how that's going to look when you just add those on there. No shoveling. <laughs> oh, brutally cold. Wow. Stay warm. Do they sell rated clothing where you live? Because I remember we lived in South Dakota. I mean, I remember I had a coat that was rated 70 degrees below zero. At first, I thought that was pretty scary until I had to stand out in the chill and the wind, and I thought, okay, I like that. All right, so there we go. I'm going to glue those down so they'll be ready for the little girl. You can add anything else you want. You can add even little bells if you wanted to, too, right? So it's all about creating, right? Creating, sharing, and giving. And I'm going to get to my camera so you guys know that I really can. Everything works, right? That's exciting when things work. And we're busy rearranging this area for a crafting area. We craft here already, but I got some new cabinets, so we're working on getting rid of some old stuff and putting, rearranging the new stuff, so there you go. So it was very simple, as you can see, to stamp the stocking, and it's going to be given to somebody, right, because it's all about creating, sharing, and giving. So thank you for supporting us not only here, but on YouTube, and we look forward to seeing you next week when we do another alternative. All right? So be blessed. Have an amazing week, an amazing weekend. Look forward to seeing you next Friday at noon with Teach Me Nana. Bye.